Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shaldu. Today we are going to explain how to use Laravel localization. Uh, we use the same web application we have been building uh, in, uh, in the previous videos of, of, the ser of this series of Laravel 9. Uh, here I just opened the, the Laravel localization web page. Uh, for explaining how it works, Laravel by default to create a folder in the root folder called lang and every language has its own folder with its shortcut uh, name like en or es for Spanish, ar for Arabic uh, as you can see here <coughs> lang en by default it's English and this is the, fold, the files that hold uh, the translation and uh, inside them and inside every each one of them an array with key and value and when we call the key the value uh, shows up so and they show is that translation file should be the same name in all file folders so uh, this is a, a simple example of how to can we change the, our web application uh, language. Here we call uh, the app class and set language uh, for and it takes uh, the folder name, if it en or es or ar whatever. So here let's add another language uh, for Laravel. We are going to create an AR for Arabic language and we put it in the folder uh, that's called lang. By that, we added another language. So we need to copy all the files and put them here. So what we have to do is to translate this from English to another language, for example, to the Arabic language. And the attribute here, uh, it's a kind of like a variable, hold the input name when it shows up. So I have all everything translated before. As you can see, the key here in Arabic, validation.php folder, the, the, the same key in English. So, for now, let's add uh, the available language or the available locals array in our uh, config.app file so we can call it in our middleware. So, here we have available language of English and Arabic, and this is our callback language. Here, if we make our local AR, this is means our app is in Arabic. But now let's just make it in English. So, okay, now we need to create a middleware. So we can assign it to a route group. Um, with prefix, of course, local. Here, PHP artisan make middleware set a blank, and we can find it in uh, add HTTP middleware set a blank. We are going to copy the example from Laravel documentation here. Yeah. First, we need to call the app uh, class, and then we are going to copy the same code, but we will make some changes on it. For example, we don't have local, but we have the second segment of our URL. Because our URL, uh, as you can see here, um, so here is the second segment. Let me show you. Here is the URL, our URL of the, our web application will equal 
domain name slash local for example AR slash whatever post category and we can change segment to the URL here can be admin uh, or domain uh, slash ABI uh, slash in and we uh, just change it uh, the array to our available local array so we can check if uh, the uh, local uh, inside this uh, available local array uh, or not and if it's existed just change the, our web app language here so now we need to register our uh, your uh, our middleware so we can use it in uh, with the with the routes so let's uh, uh, create our route group in uh, app.php or uh, abi.php sorry so let's say route here route middleware set app blank and our prefix will be a local and of course it takes uh, the available uh, locals for our app en or er then group function And let's take our public uh, ABI routes here. And we need, of course, to assign this middleware with our protected route with, with OOS Sanctum middleware. Let's put it here and add a prefix for it. So here we go, we just need to test it. Okay, let's open um, Postman and test it on registration route here. This is my account. Um, I have been registered before. So it gives me an error. We need to add uh, our local. So let's make it Arabic AR. So after EBI, let's add uh, AR and send. Yeah, it shows me uh, the validation error in Arabic language, as you can see. Let's make it in English. Now um, it's in English. So let's do one more test. So let's test it on uh, login. This is my own password. There is no translation in Arabic or in English. So let's see where the, this problem come, comes from. So here in login controller, we have an answer. It's not translated. We need to add a translation for it. So let's go to toos.php. Here and the add a key for unauthorized in English, it will be unauthorized. You can uh, write whatever you want. And same thing here in Arabic. Uh, write it in Arabic. And then it's back to our controller here, login controller, and uh, call the translation via double underscore here and then let's call the file name os dot uh, the file here uh, os dot php so 
So we start uh, the, the key of the, with uh, the file name, os dot and authorize. So should work. Now it is in Arabic and in English. So you can create your uh, whatever files you want and add whatever translations you, you want. Just remember to put the file name before the key of the translation. Um, so this is how we can uh, make uh, our app localize it uh, according to the, our URL. Um, so I hope I could help. Thank you. Bye-bye.